Hey everybody, Dustin here. It's May the 11th of 2020. It's a little bit of a post Mother's Day update. A Mother's Day that was incredibly unique. Snow, wind, cold, rain, and no mothers because of quarantine. I cannot wait to see my mother again and I wish all mothers a happy Mother's Day. So, uh, let, let, let's just jump into it. I was having a little bit of an issue with motivation. Motivation of getting out there and doing um, any kind of runs. Much like a lot of you who are out there, I had races that were either postponed, um, two races that were postponed, um, or races that were canceled. And uh, both of those scenarios are difficult. Canceled races obviously are difficult, um, depending on where you're on in your training. But postponed races are also extremely difficult. Sometimes we plan our races at certain times of the year because that's what fits in with training and with our schedule. And that was kind of the, the case for me. So while there potentially could be some flexibility to run something like Kettle 100 this fall, it is yet to be determined. And because it's been yet to be determined, I have been extremely lacking in motivation of getting out and running um, after taking multiple weeks off. So what was going to help me get out of this? Um, and I was doing a little bit of research and virtual races are a huge thing right now. And I just happened to come across this, this race that just happened to have Laz's name attached to it. The great virtual race across Tennessee, 1000K, something like that. Um, and the object was is that you have until the end of August 31st to run 1,000K, which is 620-some-ish miles. Um, I'm sure there are people who are already done. I actually haven't checked. Or there are people like me who on the 4th or 5th of May, multiple days after it had started, heard about it and was like, okay, that equals a little bit over 5 miles a day. Wow, that just happens to fall within my definition of what uh, I would need for daily mileage on a run streak. Again, personal definition, over five miles a day for a daily run streak. And I have never done a daily run streak. Well, 120 days seems like a pretty good amount of time to do a daily run streak. And I ain't got nothing else going on and my motivation is terrible. So let's sign up and put 60 bucks down on this thing. So, so that's exactly what I did. Um, and I, you know... I, I did that with the hope that this was going to motivate me. And so far, it seems to be working. It's been about seven days now. I've gotten my 5.178 miles in. Um, so I have, you know, kept up my run streak. And I'm not going to lie. Um, I've already had difficulty this weekend. It, we got frost. It was like mid-20s. Had to cover up the plants out at the garden. All that kind of nonsense. And it, by nonsense, I mean nonsense for now, almost halfway through May. Wouldn't have been nonsense a month or two ago in Wisconsin, but it is now, dang it. Um, so there's been that going on. But I did. I got out there and I, and I did it. And I intend to see this through. Whether or not I race something like Kettle 100 in September. If I do, though, recovery is going to be extremely important. Um, and I'm already pretty darn good at recovery. I got recovery boots, you know, um, a time of calorie intake after workout, during workout, properly and my ultra running 100 mile training experience is going to help me as I get into you know like 60 days into this this is different for me you know it, it doesn't sound like a lot of daily miles and it really isn't and weekly miles it, it, it isn't a lot and on the weekend I'm going to be itching to do something longer 10 15 20 and I likely will but Without the rest day in there, I'm really wondering how my body's going to take it. I am used to having at least one rest day, you know, after a big, long, back-to-back -back weekend. Um, I am used to that. And I'm wondering how much of a role that's playing in my personal recovery to be able to get out there then again um, two days after a big back-to-back -back workout and be able to hammer some good miles out. So more to come on that. Um, I hope you do whatever it takes to find your personal motivation that's different for everybody and it may be the the old tried and true familiar method um that could be it whether that's going out and and doing your your walk around the pond every day because that's what makes it feel normal right now or whether that's trying something new like what i got going on here to try to get out of that rut in that lack of motivation so think about it um let me know if you want to, or message me, or 
do whatever you want. I, I'm happy to talk about it or just let me know what you do when your motivation is lacking. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a great day.